Qatar. Officials have determined efforts to be made by the international community to put in place a political solution in Afghanistan that involves all the countries of the group. The Ministry of Human and officials from eight groups that action will be even more important because of the humanitarian disaster that has hit Afghanistan. In Washington, the U.S. President Boy Lockhart of Berlin has again told to the U.S. Deputy Secretary of State Richard Anikhart today on how to patch together a viable Afghan government in the place of the Taliban. The United Nations and the United States both say they favor a war based government, but if they can't do that, they're over a possible war with the U.S. and Cuba's. After talks in New York yesterday, Washington's war coordinator on Afghanistan, Richard Hart, said it was too early to discuss the nation's building proposal. British and Irish ministers met today in Dublin as the plot of rain had after Kyrgyzstan pulled out of Northern Ireland, but the Igelman was quite in and in the Irish This is WATV and Portable, Granaham Lake, New York. Okay. All right, here I am at the annual uh, Mohawk Valley DX Listening Shortwave uh, Club Camp at Lake Branningham at Red at, at uh, Branningham Lake at the Aldersgate um, Aldersgate Methodist Camp. I'm not Methodist, but it doesn't matter. They let everybody come here except uh, practicing uh, Talibaners. But anyway, I've, I've got here my uh, here my, my headphones, my my. Uh, log of the stations that I've listened to tonight, which include um, Armenia, uh, Turkey, Argentina, the CBC from Canada, and um, um, I'm about to listen to uh, Echos, uh, Echos de Torbes from Venezuela, uh, which I did hear uh, earlier, but the music part hasn't begun yet. I'm using my um, Sony 76, uh, it's a 7600 GR with an external antenna with a plug here and I have about uh, 30 feet of wire outside of the antenna and also I have my um, my uh, Sony uh, FM uh, shortwave, it's just a two band radio uh, here, it's sort of a backup radio and I have my barometer here, the barometer's been steady I also have my two meter radio which allows me to contact the uh, repeater in Boonville. And let's see if we can raise that right now. No? Oh, wait a second. Maybe because it wasn't on. Yes, we can We can uh, hit the Boonville, Boonville repeater. Um, I've got extra batteries here and a cup of coffee. And also, I have a list of frequencies from uh, the Middle East, which was provided to me. 
um, by Roger Chambers, who's the president of our club. Um, we've had some good luck, but some of these we'll, we'll, we won't be able to hear tonight because they broadcast during the day. So the stations we'll be listening to, I'll be listening to, uh, until the evening will mainly be from Central South America. Uh, some, it's mostly in Spanish. A few might be in English, but I think at this point they'll be Spanish. Uh, let me ask Roger for anything else. The right is already listening to something. Um, I have a bottle, bottle of water. I have a, uh, some listening in uh, from the uh, Ontario DX. This is a June 2001. I've got the Rome Daily Sentinel here, the Rome paper. And today, this already this is a Friday evening. And I also have the Boonville Herald. You, you might want to know what's going on in Boonville, you never know. Um, I also have a library book, which I'm going to do some reading and listening. This is called uh, Ghosts from the Nursery. It's a uh, psychological development of uh, children, I guess. So uh, that's about it. The temperature inside here is, is fairly, really comfortable. It's, it's probably about 70 degrees. Temperature outside is probably in the um, maybe the mid-50s right now. It probably dropped throughout the night. So I can't think of much more. Anything else that uh, you should comment on? We don't, there's, there's, there are very few people here this, uh, at this year's event. We only have uh, three. Roger, me, and the cameraman, Chet Doherty. Uh, who's, yeah. <laughs> Who is there? And uh, who I filmed uh, earlier listening to, uh, while well, he was listening to some uh, DX stations. DX, by the way, means long distance. So the stations we're trying to listen to are ones that we wouldn't normally get listening in a city urban environment. You can see we, we have very little uh, electrical interference here. The only thing I have is a, a lamp. We're not using the uh, overhead fluorescent balls, which give a little add noise uh, into the radio signal. So um, I guess that's about it from Granningham, Lake, New York. And uh, thank you very much. Well, because I, well, I mean, the thing I look at here is, if you're going to look at, I can lose weight. You're ugly, but I can lose weight. That's what it comes oh, down right, to, right? right, right, right. And you can't lose ugliness, <laughs> but you can lose weight. All right. So that's what, that's what I kind of... Okay. Now, come on. Just say... Just come on. Now, come on. Now, it's, you just tell... Be the camera. All right. All right. Here you are. You use it. Are you recording? Yeah. Are you real? Yeah. All right. Here we are at the CJ, CJ's, is it, what is it? CJ's, CJ's uh, restaurant in Branningham Lake, New York. This is Jennifer, this is Rita's niece, not nephew. And uh, she doesn't, as somebody said, she doesn't need to go to school, she just needs a good agent to promote her. And she'll be on television. Don't be so shy, you'll be like, you know, yes. And the camera person today, it happens to be Rita, so we can't get her into this. Uh, into this. Um, do you know how to work a camcorder? Come on, Rita, now it's your turn. Come on. You gave my friend Shadow. I was <laughs> laughing. I, I, I just soaked this all up. <laughs> oh, you're soaking nothing. It's a precaution. <laughs> Back with chat. Yeah, if you go play Metro. Oh, chat. You can't call. play Metro. Is that today's, that's not today's paper, though? Uh, I don't care. Old news is good news. All right. Well, you're still around to read it. Right? That's right. That's right. I'm around to read it. This is Thursday. It's now Saturday. I have to read Thursday's paper. Okay, here, here she comes with, here she comes, da da da, she's shy. Okay, hey, read, okay, say it again, read it, read it, and then show me the article here. Oh, what is five it? four drum soldiers who went to Groton Friday for a school's adopt a platoon program spent the after school hours sharing alcoholic beverages with three 14 year old girls, state police at Ithaca. Where's, where's Groton? Down near Ithaca. C so what does it say, C entertainment? Oh, endangerment. Endangerment, yeah, endangering. The celebration for the five soldiers and their three dates ended Friday night when they showed up at the school's homecoming weekend football game, according to Groton Central School Superintendent. What paper is that? This is the um, Watertown Times. Wow. Let's see, where else is in here? Oh, I missed a page. It's on page, uh, where do I see it? Page 32. I'll go back there anyway. Where's the dates on here? Where's going to be endangerment? Yeah, I don't know. 
We still intend to go forward with our Adopt a Platoon program. Mrs. Cronin said Wednesday, we don't want to judge a platoon by the actions of a few of its members. Charged by state police for endangering the welfare of, ch of a child, our sar staff sergeant, I think I should know more than Who's the staff Rains? sergeant? Domingo Domingo. James M. Blair, uh -huh. um, Private First Class, Micah W. Rowe, 21, Private First Class, William Watkins, 21, um, there's a private Jamie S. Kennedy and a, a Wendell J. Lind, Jr. 20. They are members of the 2nd Battalion, 14th Infantry, according to Cortland Standard. The eight consumed beer and other alcoholic beverages in a vehicle parked on the Pearson Road in the town of Groton. State Police Sergeant involved in the investigation declined to say if any of them were intoxicated when they arrived at the football game. Soldier released their commanding officer in order to appear. The girls are suspended from school this week. The girls get suspended. These guys should get kicked out of service. Um, we need soldiers more than we need girls in school. Right? Well, we need... Where is it? Right there on the ground. See it? Yeah, it is. Yeah, I'm like 90% sure that's a hero. Right there. Right there. Russia wants in return. Hmm. I think I'm going to take a shower and lay down for now. Hmm. Could you could you lower the volume on the radio? I just want to get some of the sound of him pecking away. Yeah, shut it right They're talking about um, well, this anthrax scare that Russia's offering all sorts of help to the United States. Oh, really? Based on their experience. She's one that they give us as much vaccine as we wanted. Oh, really? Their vaccine's better than ours. That's amazing, huh? But it's only one, um, it's only good for a year. Yeah. With one injection. They said the vaccine that we have is uh, limited supply. Requires several shots, and they're only giving it to the military. Of course, it's been controversial for a long time too. Is being is it really necessary? Is it really beneficial? No. Huh. Then they we were talking about that. Um, they had an episode back in the '70s. Some guy was talking about this on the radio the other day too. 
where um, only had 69 or 70 people die from it. Mm -hmm. And they had some anthrax that was released accidentally at one of the research facilities right. or whatever. That's like one of the people says, well, why do we have anthrax? Well, if you don't have it, you can't use anything to see if you can uh, counteract it. You have to have it for testing mm -hmm. purposes. Because we shouldn't have anthrax. Wait till, wait till they release some smallpox. Yeah, you get smallpox. And, uh, first, smallpox I, would be far, far more serious. Like you said, they can't really infiltrate the uh, water supply. It would be kind of hard to them. Well, Unless you do a bottle of water wise, you can do a bottle of water. It yeah. could, but it'd be. A bottle of water is so easy to do. The thing is, I mean, you look at the anthrax, you look at the number of cases, and you look at the fact that it's not really all that contagious. No. Don't you, they say it's look at the terror that that's caused, just a handful of cases. I mean, what, what, <coughs> <coughs> what happens if they release some sort of plague or smallpox or something? Sure. Well, they're saying the fact that they or inoculate four or five of these guys to just basically have the disease and all are contagious and, right. and go hang out in whatever public places they can hang out. Well, they were saying about the anthrax, I guess it's the finer it is, the worse it is. Because the finer yeah, part of the particles get into the air and it gets because if it's on a piece of paper and you touch a piece of paper, it means nothing. Or if it's large spores, large spores. it gets in the nose, but it's not really. No, oh, he's still there. Wait, I, I don't. He it's too close. Good music. It's an old song. You think it's got a storm? I think so. I better check that barometer. Make sure it's okay. That's why I did my science fair project. At, uh, of course, it wasn't. I didn't get a good prize because it was one of those handmade jobs. You know, you just put together. Right. They had the barometer and all the other attachments. And you, I know. She gets something. Yep. Oh, yeah, so we got, well, next couple weeks are going to be hell. I like the way they pile up the wood. How does it stay dry, though? Your bird? No, no, it's your bird. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. There he is.
Where did he go? He's right there. Right next to me. See the stump right there? See, he's going about the top of the stump. See him? See him? He's on top of the stump. Yeah, got yeah. him. Oh, oh. There he goes. He's off to the right. He's in the pile of rocks. Oh, yeah. Oh, go away. He's right on the tree. Oh, yeah. Oh. He's coming there. Cool deal. Look at that. Hi. Woodpecker. Woody Woodpecker. 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 Yeah. Is this a music? Yeah, I'm just going to the chat. Cool. Yeah. It's a church on that. Personally, that's what I shot. I took the wrong music this week. Can you see me? Absolutely. Okay. Just tell me when we're 